bringing to you Burning Woman. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. I'd love to suck with my baby tonight. <laughs> oh my God, it's too darn hot. Can you believe the record temperatures we're having? I'm not talking about the temperature outside. I'm talking about me. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> Just think of it as a power surge here. <laughs> Considering that this is my 15th power surge this morning, I feel like I'm putting out so much heat I can melt the Statue of Liberty. Would you like to have something stronger to drink? No, no, it's okay. You know, those camelback water pack things, you know, that bicycles use to sip some water as they're driving or riding or whatever they're doing. Oh, I bought one of those. Oh, I threw it in my freezer and filled it with vodka beforehand. Oh, I can take and wrap it around my, my neck here and I sip it all day long. <laughs> I remember those days, Millie. I'm sure glad they're over. <laughs> so you're saying there's an end in sight? Oh, yes, of course. There's, um, there's an end in sight. <laughs> I don't like the way you're saying that. <sighs> of course, menopause is different for every woman. It only lasted for six months for me, and I only had a few uncomfortable nights. I can't believe it. You are kidding. It has taken me over four years of sweating through the sheets all night long. I have to wear tank tops to bed in the middle of the winter. And then, and then I gave way. <laughs> and then, oh, my, don't even go there, Mom. Any of those mood changes. And then, Bill, you know, oh, if you go to him, he can tell you lots of things that I am know. so sad you're suffering so badly. What's your husband doing this weekend? Oh, he won't even hold like this. He and this buddy of his are, are going to this Burning Man thing. And <laughs> it's in the middle of Nevada Desert. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, the tickets are over $400. I can think of one or two men I'd like to set. Fire too. <laughs> what is a burning man anyway? Well, Bill said it was kind of like a a thing where it's been going on this event since 1986, I think he said. And there's art going on with music and performances and like these huge art installations that are going on. But I think they're just taking this event as an excuse so they can party and get naked. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that burning man, my ass. Huh. You know, it would be nice to have a burning woman event. <gasps> you know, Sandy, that would be something. But we couldn't have it in some, you know, like damned hot desert. We'd have to have someplace cool, like Minnesota. <laughs> or, or Antarctica. Right. And it's got to be just for the women who are going through the chain. Exactly. And then we could have this really fancy resort. And, oh, the pool. Pool. And then, oh, we could have the banana boys. Oh, and then we could have icy drinks. And those little <laughs> Now, this 
is an event. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? The perfect 62 degrees. Oh, oh and we can have as many icy daiquiris or cosmos as we want. And listen to that chill music, my love. Oh, this is the best burning woman event ever. <laughs> what is that booth over there? It looks like they're trying to sell something. Oh, they sell things for menopausal symptoms, like lotions for dry skin, or for hair that's thinning out, or fatigue. Oh, and they also have things for, you know, to combat body odor. <laughs> You know what? There's something even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Your wish is my command. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, ladies! <laughs> How you doing? 
What, what's wrong? It looks like you're seeing a ghost or something. Oh, sorry, dear. I'm just, uh, I saw, uh, what Sandy's trying to say is that we kind of saw a guy that looked a little like you, uh, wearing a toga. A toga? <laughs> I don't wear a toga. Obviously, it wasn't you. <laughs> uh, so, what was the, the news you wanted to share, dear? Oh, it was the latest news about climate change. Oh, yes, you know, um, you know, they say that there's some new scientists who are saying that they're predicting that the Earth will burn up on itself if we don't make some major changes. Do you understand that? You know, Mother Nature's not very happy with how we've been treating this Earth. And you know, if we don't watch out, she's gonna take it into her own hands. She's gonna take it into her own hands. Lord knows what she'll do. You know, you know, you don't want to make women angry, you know? <laughs> right, hon? <laughs> nice ice chest. <laughs>